forecast. Oh, I wish. No, still only Thursday. And that's okay, too. That's better than Wednesday. Michelle, how's it looking that's today? true. <laughs> We're getting there. Uh, you know, unfortunately, though, our streak of beautiful weather coming to an end as we've been through the nighttime hours, rising humidity. We are watching some scattered showers that have already been, been breaking out across the area. As we look at our temperatures here in southeastern New England, it's a big difference from yesterday. In fact, most areas coming in more than 10 degrees warmer than it was yesterday morning. At this point, it's 70 in Providence, 66 in Coventry. Those temperatures in in Newport are at 68 this morning and we're right around uh, 68 degrees in Ninigret as well and as we look at some of the uh, visibilities they're still fine this morning we're gonna keep an eye out for the potential for fog it was very isolated yesterday but we did see some of it and here's where we're seeing some scattered showers now these are all very light across uh, Kent County right now approaching 295 we had a brief heavier downpour it's weakening as it moves through northwestern Rhode Island but you can see that some of this activity over eastern Connecticut a little bit more widespread but also that we're seeing some darker greens some yellows some oranges so some heavy downpours in some of these showers that have been developing over Connecticut and pushing eastward. In fact, here's the uh, satellite and the radar. This is sort of round one here of what could be several rounds of showers and thunderstorms in the coming days. And I do think they'll come in rounds, so I don't think it'll be an all-out soaking all day long, but you're going to want to keep an eye out keep an umbrella with you as there'll be that risk for some showers passing through. Here's the future cast house, 9 o'clock this morning, some scattered showers around. Notice not a washout, but still a shower passing through in spots this afternoon and some partial sun trying to break out of uh, the cloud cover, and that'll last through this evening and tonight. Overnight tonight, more fog, more showers likely. Temperatures at 6 a.m. will be another very mild start, close to 70 degrees, and you can see still some showers in the early morning hours of your Friday and by 3 o'clock in the afternoon. We're still looking at some showers. They'll continue into Friday evening and Friday night. And then the trend Saturday is still for things to be improving with those showers coming to an end. So this morning around 73, humid and warmer with scattered showers. That's by 9 a.m. This afternoon, close to 80, partial hazy sun trying to break through the cloud cover and a shower at times. A south wind at 10 to 15 miles an hour tonight. Clouds and fog can't roll out a shower making its way through a very mild, very humid night. And if you're trying to get a little beach time in today, in those next uh, clouds and sunshine, that risk for a shower or isolated thunderstorm, 77 for an air temperature, water temperature about 68. Visibility on the bay will be pouring any showers or storms, otherwise about 8 to 10 miles. South winds at 5 to 15 knots, the high tide at 930 this morning. Taking a look at that seven day future cast, 80 today, about 82 for tomorrow. One of the things we're going to be watching tomorrow is the potential for some of these storms tomorrow to possibly be strong or severe. Biggest concern, there's going to be a lot of moisture to work with, would be the fact that we could see a lot of rain in a short amount of time. So we'd be talking about localized street and poor drainage flooding in any heavy downpours. There's also the potential Friday for some gusty winds and any thunderstorms, some small hail and some lightning. Saturday, again, we may wake up to some cloudiness, maybe a leftover shower first thing in the morning. Majority of Saturday is going to be dry, clearing out. And a warm day Saturday, middle 80s. By Sunday, low humidity at about 82 degrees. I brought back another chance for showers, thunderstorms as a cold front tries to make its way through on Tuesday of next week. You can get that 